guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for watching. Today I am super excited because I'm gonna be showing you how I take my own pictures at home, how I edit them. I'm gonna walk you through every single step. I will show you the before and after and everything um, to get like an Instagram worthy photo, um, which sounds a little silly, but it is fun. Like I have a fun time with it. I like the creative um, aspect of it and I have fun editing the pictures like I don't, you know, morph my face or anything, but I just change the colors and the details and it's just, it's it's a lot of fun, I really enjoy it. So without further ado, let's go ahead and jump on in. If you have not already subscribed, please be sure to do so, it means the world to me. Give this video a thumbs out, it helps me out so much more than you know. Um, and follow me on Instagram, I'm really working on it and uh, you can see all the pictures that I'm posting here today and editing on my Instagram, so all right. Let's go. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna show you guys today's little photo shoot that I'm gonna be doing myself. Let me show you what we're working with here. So, um, I always wanna have natural light in front of me. So this is what I'm gonna be facing, the window. And then I've got my camera on top of a laundry bin. Um, I have this ovation box to make it taller and to get a pop of blue in the picture. And um, I'll show you, it's really cool. So I don't know if you can tell, you see the little blue at the bottom of the image. So um, the bottom of this corner of the box is actually getting in the picture so that it has a little blue pop at the bottom of the image and will make my eyes look a little bluer, which I really like. So I will be right there in the corner of my bedroom. Um, I'm just wearing this really simple, white tank top and then I'm gonna throw this green uh, jacket over my shoulders just for like a pop of color. And what I do is I hook up my phone to my camera. I should probably tell you guys what kind of camera I have. So currently I'm vlogging on a Sony A5100, but I will be taking these pictures on a Canon 70D. And what I do is I hook up my phone so that my phone is the remote almost of the photos so I set up my phone so that it hooks up to um, my camera's Wi-Fi sounds really complicated <laughs> so I turn my phone into a remote for my camera um, so one um, hand is always out of my photos because I have my phone in my hand taking the pictures um, so you really never see my hands in photos that I take of myself um, because I'm, I'm, I'm taking the photos. So I'm just gonna show you guys what I do. I look like an absolute idiot while I take pictures of myself. I take about 800 and I will try anything. I will try anything. Um, I will be laying on my stomach. I'll be laying on my back. I'll look like a cuckoo person, but I get the shot in the end. I usually film in PJ pants and, um, yeah, let's just get this started. Let's, let's start the process. Let's go. So right here, I am just crawling on the floor. <laughs> it's so funny watching this back. Like it feels awkward when you're doing it and it looks even more awkward, um, which is amazing. So this is me. I'm just like fixing my hair and trying to pose, trying to make it look cute. And like I said, I take like 800 photos till I get the right one because I can't really see what I'm doing um because I'm not like looking at them as I go so I just kind of take a bunch change the angle as you can see like I just kind of like move around I do a lot of fake laughing here we go are we ready I think I'm about to fake laugh there we go oh my gosh this is so embarrassing like, this is mortifying okay so yeah this is pretty much what I do I just take my pictures I pretend to laugh have a good time I really liked this backdrop because I loved the wood, the texture in the woods, and then I loved the blue from the bed and the white, and I just thought it was a nice, fresh, crisp image. So yeah, that's kind of how I picked this background, and I love it. <laughs> so now that we've already taken our pictures, um, I've already gone ahead and uploaded them onto my phone. We're gonna go ahead and pop over to the Lightroom app. So this was the picture that I ended up posting on my Instagram. Um, I really like it, it's nice, it's a little overexposed, kind of boring, this is my skin raw, real, up close, personal. We've got freckles by my mouth, um, a little breakout right here, freckles on my forehead, um, a breakout right here, stuff like that. You know, just pretty normal, normal stuff. So what I do is I pop down to my 
uh, presets that I've purchased. I think it was like $60 for 11 of them because this is my job, you know, you, you gotta do what you gotta do. And I kind of bought them to help me learn and understand how to use Lightroom. So let me show you. I purchased them from this girl called Travel in Her Shoes. These are some of the pics she posts on her Instagram. She is so talented and I love her. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and copy the settings of this photo. This one's my favorite. I use this one the most probably. And I'm just gonna go back and pop it onto this picture and paste the settings onto here. So right away, it's looking better, but a little too like orangey and um, I don't know, like overexposed to me. So I'm gonna turn it down a little bit on the exposure. Um, yeah, ooh, okay, wow, I already, I already like it. <laughs> Am I allowed to say that? Uh, like it already looks good. Okay, I'm excited. Um, so let's see, what do I wanna do? I kind of look you love it already, honestly. Um, I'm impressed. So what you can do is you can play with color, all that jazz. Let me show you really quickly what you can do to your skin color um, to make you more tan or things like that. And I just want to show you this, not to make fun or anything, but I want to show you how powerful this tool is. And I want um, for you to not be, I don't know, like insecure if you see girls on Instagram with like that crazy perfect tan 24-7. It's fake, I promise. Um, okay, so this picture right here. So I can take, I picked the color orange and I can make my skin however I want, but you can make it really, really dark. You can make it really, really white. Do you see that? Like this is a crazy tool, my friends. A crazy, crazy tool. Um, I love it. So this picture looks really nice. Um, actually, I love it like this. I'm gonna go ahead and, and the blue looks really nice that we talked about um, while we were taking the photo. That actually turned out really dope. I'm gonna go ahead and crop this into a square for the gram. And um, I'm gonna pop this bad boy over to Facetune because I'm gonna just get rid of the little like Freckles by my mouth because I hate them <laughs> because they always look like acne scars and it bugs the heck out of me because they're not. Um, but yeah, I'm going to get rid of those and the thing on my nose because I don't like it. And I'm going to change the color of my hair slightly and then the photo is going to be good to go. This one was actually really quick. So we're popping over to Facetune. I know this is like a lot of steps and it's kind of ridiculous and please don't feel like you have to do this. I just want to show you guys what I do, um, and I've seen girls do this. Like I've seen many of my Instagram and YouTube friends do this kind of stuff. Um, so right here, I'm just smoothing out the freckles around my mouth, cause I hate them. And then this little acne spot right here. And my forehead has some freckles and acne scarring. I'm just gonna go like that and turn it down a little bit so it's not too perfect. So this is the before, after, before, after. So it's definitely still me. I'm not changing my face or anything like that, but it just makes the skin look a little more precise and I don't know, I like it. Okay, so now we're gonna go to the detail tool. This is one of my favorite tools. I always detail my brows, my eyes, my highlight. I'm really not picky with this. I don't take 10 hours to edit my photos. Like I don't really care, but I wanna make them the best I can. So yeah, okay, that looks good to go for me. And the last and final step on this image is gonna be changing the color of my hair because in my opinion, it looks really brown and I don't really know why, but I'm not digging it because my hair isn't brown. So um, I'm just gonna go ahead, pop over to the select tool, select my hair and then I'm just gonna increase the brightness of my hair. There we go. So before, after, before, after. And it just kind of makes it look a little brighter and like more accurate to my, my hair color. So yeah, that picture is ready to go for the gram. It already went up, I think yesterday um, or two days ago. And y'all actually really liked it, so thank you. Um, and yeah, here it is, up on the gram, living its life. So yeah, that's how I edit 
um, a picture, how I take it, how I edit it from start to finish. I'll show you a couple more before and afters in Lightroom just so that you have kind of like a feel. Um, let's see, there's this, okay, this one of Daniel I'm like so proud of. Okay, he's so cute. <laughs> That's my boyfriend in case you didn't know. <laughs> okay, um, this is a before of the picture. Uh, it's a nice photo, but he looks very washed out because we were in directly in front of a window and it kind of just washed him out and I don't know, just kind of whatever. This is the after. If this isn't Instagram worthy, I don't know what is. I love it. Um, even that water, like wow, wow. So yeah, this is the after of that picture. Um, I do use this tool for most of the pictures that I edit and I love it. Let me show you guys another before and after. Really. Another one that I want to show you guys really quickly is this bathing suit before and after. I liked how my hair looked. I love the bathing suits. Um, I just thought it was really, really cute. Bianca Renee actually took this on a catamaran when we went uh, to Miami with Diva Curl and I put the little snorkel gear right there on purpose. You know what I'm saying. And this was just a really lovely shot. And then this is it edited. Like, come on. I mean, all I did was slap one of those presets on it, adjust the color slightly so that my skin was like, you know, didn't look too fake or anything like that. And boom, that's it. Um, super, super crazy easy. You can adjust the blues, the greens, the pinks, anything you want. And it's just a game changer. I'll just show you really quickly with this. Like if you want to change the color of the water. So the water is blue. So you can make it purple. Now it's green. Now it's purple. Like anything you see on Instagram, guys, I'm telling you, it's fake. Okay. <laughs> um, super crazy concentrated. Now it's like totally washed out. Um, let me show you guys the skin really quick. I pop over to the orange and I change the luminous. Lum luminance um, and I'm not making fun or anything like that but I'm just showing you I can be as fair as they come or really really dark so you can totally change the color of your skin with the flip of a switch it's insane um, so I just want to show you guys that tool so that you can see that the pictures that you're seeing on Instagram are very very heavily edited I assure you um, you know, nobody's pink bathing suit really looks like that. It's, it's all kind of fake, which is interesting. <laughs> so I show you guys this today to show you that whatever Instagram picture you're looking at, the colors have been enhanced. Um, and sometimes, you know, things don't capture in photos, especially if you're using an iPhone, they just don't capture the color like they look in real life. And you want to show people like, no, it really was this yellow. And I totally get that. And I appreciate that. Um, but I do want to warn you. So I have sh all this to say, I love editing photos. I think it's so fun. Sometimes an iPhone doesn't capture the yellow of the sunflower the way you want it to. And you want to enhance it so that people can see what it really looks like. And I totally get that. It can enhance a photo and make it just all the more vibrant and beautiful and I think there's nothing wrong with that however I do want to say and I say this to myself too like be cautious when you're using facetune be cautious when you're giving yourself a tan be cautious of all these things um, I'm not naturally tan all the time or ever really so if I see myself on Instagram constantly being crazy tan which to me is so beautiful um, and then when I look in the mirror, I'm like, oh, I'm so pale. And then I don't like that. So I think we have to be very, very, very cautious um, of how much we're editing our photos. And I say that like out of love and not, not putting down people who edit their photos because I edit all my photos. But be very careful. Be very cautious. Um, it can really hurt your self-esteem. It can damage the way you see yourself. And um, I have been at events and seen girls open up FaceTime, squeeze in their waist, pull out their hips like I have seen it with my own eyes. Um, I would never name names, of course, but it is, it's scary. It's really scary. And it's sad for that person, you know, because they don't feel beautiful enough in their own skin the way they are. Because on Instagram, we're looking at a bunch of fake images. So... I really wanted to make this video because I think editing photos is fun. I love taking pictures. 
Uh, it's a blast. I like Instagram. It's fun, whatever. But it is, it's a double-edged sword. It can be very dangerous if you, if you abuse it and you edit yourself to be another person that you're not. Like, be you. There's only one you. And I know that sounds so epically cheesy, but, like, it's so true. You know, like, I don't know. I just want to challenge you guys to be very, very cautious um, when it comes to Instagram and editing because I love you guys. And yeah, okay. I hope that you guys have enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. Um, give this video a thumbs up if you found it helpful. Be sure to pop over to my Instagram following me there and um, subscribe if you haven't already. Comment down below, let me know what you guys wanna see next. Okay, I think that's everything. <laughs> Bye guys, love you.